Hey guys, welcome back to another bass tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys the Zenith. The Zenith has two external TCs, which are each eight rockets to rate and super cheap to upkeep, as you can see around here. They're also both upkeep, uh, they're also both disconnectable in case the main TC gets destroyed and you can do so. Or you can disconnect them like so. And then just go ahead and replace the frame. Over here to the right we have some bedrooms, which I'll show you later. And on opposite sides, so we have two gatehouses. Coming into the gatehouse, we have embrasures on each side uh, with an OP hecklage that can be either used with the box or just while standing. So it overlooks almost all of the compound and you're super hard to hit. Compound itself has a funnel wall, which is basically a second layer of compound once your normal wooden walls get breached. This, this specific area is overlooked by turrets behind double chain link, which are impossible to break unless you break the chain link first. Coming into this element of the base, we have a shop, or which can be used for either just selling or storing loot, as it's behind a 16 rocketed wall that can be only open if you have building privilege and the compound is symmetrical. Coming into the base, we have another set of bunkers, or we have another bunker on this side. Um, this one is towards the entry of the base. And as you can see here, once this wouldn't lag, uh, you can easily place a wooden uh, triangle roof and easily pass through. Right here we're in the small open core or living area of the base. Above us we have some storage units. We have an unlootable locker behind this wall and our battery to the left. Heading down into our core we have the TC behind two vending machines, which is pretty much unlootable unless you destroy the vending machines. Heading up to the shooting floor, uh, we can see that it's symmetrical by two. And it can be covered by turrets, uh, but I just didn't place them. And we have some really nice peaks into the compound. These peaks are great for head glitching and also shooting far away, making it really hard to hit if you position yourself correctly. You also have full vision over the roof and a jump up, which is fine if 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 you get used to it. It can, can look quite challenging, but it's pretty much fine. The roof is overlooked by turrets, which cover all of it and you have several peaks down into the compound but also far away. These areas here are great for shooting patrol helicopter or people passing by your base. And through these small holes you can actually throw grenades without being hit. Over here we have some more storage that can be used for kits or just drop boxes while landing with a minicopter. Let's get straight into the build tutorial.